Hey guys, welcome back. Pixel Insane here again with another Spider-Man video yet again. I know, this one is still from a Spider-Man No Way Home movie, but the special shot, I really liked it because it's so well lit, the lighting is amazing, it looks so realistic, and I happen to have purchased the model, the Iron Suit Spider-Man. I'm going to show you how to recreate this shot. <laughs> So here in Blender, we have the model that you can purchase right here. You can find it on TurboSquid or uh, Sketchfab or other website. Obviously, it's a very well-made and very detailed model and I can show you right here, but it's really worth the money. Be careful what you're buying because this one is really well done. It's not that expensive, but other models are very expensive and not well-made. So I'm going to show you. And here it is. You can see it's really, really well done. There are a couple of things that you can change and tweak, like for example, this one right here, these emission smashes, but overall is amazing. I actually tweaked the shader quite a bit. Also, it does come with the four legs or uh, tentacles, you can call them whatever you want. But in this specific shot, I didn't need them. So let's go back to the project and I'll show you what I did. For the first shot, we have the Spider-Man jumping up and then kind of do this back flip-ish to avoid the car that is being shot at him by Dr. Octavius Octopus. So what I did right here in the camera shot, I selected the camera and then I went down into background images. So I selected the clip that I rendered, pre-rendered, so I can kind of go frame by frame and match the animation frame by frame, obviously. So I started with the character because it's the most advanced one, but uh, if we go to solid view, let's get rid of the car. As you can see right here, um, first of all, we have the rig right here and then press control tab to go into post mode. Make sure you have automatic key selected and active so it will be easier to do that. So it's very easy by going pose by pose. I select, for example, main poses at frame two or frame one and then at frame 53. So I have the start at frame one and the end at frame 53. And then the secret is go to go halfway and set the pose, basically, you know, just selecting the pose and moving your character, whatever, moving the hips and uh, whatever you wanna do, for example, like this. And then uh, you make sure that you check halfway all the other ones as well, just to make sure that is correct. You don't have to be super precise, but you have to be, you know, very careful what you do because the animation can be a little jittery because I'm not really a character animator. So I had a little troubles animating this one, like all the other ones. You can see, you know, the other videos that I did, Spider-Man, what the fuck, and then uh, the, the battle at Liberty Island and Electro and all the others. I did the same technique, just frame by frame, copying the pose as best as I can. And for this one, like I said before, I had a pretty good idea on how I wanted the shitter to look like. It was okay as it was, like I showed you before, but to match this one specifically, in this shot, I had to kind of change some some stuff like a little color here and there, the roughness, the specular and all the other stuff, the normals. But for the car, this is what I did. Let's hide the rig and the car is basically the same thing. You know, just go frame by frame to match the position. And if I hide this one for a second, you can see. As for the render, this one was a little tricky. Also, I found this car on sketchfab.com and link is in the description down below. And this one is for free, so you can download this if you want to. Another cool thing that I did, I added some dirt to the rim of the of the wheels to make it a little more realistic actually and then i chose to use the glass shader in blender the default one it works perfectly obviously i needed to match the color of the the actual car so i tweaked of course uh, colors, textures, and everything accordingly to the shot. If I turn on all the layers that are active in the render, you don't see the background or the CT or nothing. So you may ask, how the hell did you do that? Well, that was a little hard to do. I had to do some, some... <coughs> <coughs> I can actually show you better what I did right here in After Effects because that's where all the compositing is. And we have the top layer right here. That's the actual render with a lot of motion blur and some noise and, you know, just to make it more dirty and less digital. Uh, if I turn this off, and this is what it looked like when I solo it, but then if I turn it off, that's the actual animation of the background. It was pretty easy, all in Photoshop. I took a still image in the middle of the shot. For example, I can show you the video references right here. 
if I solo it, I took a screenshot of this one and then I went into Photoshop and using the new AI tool, I removed the car and I removed Spider-Man. But then you will be left with other things. How did I do the parallax effect? This is actually set in four different layers. As you can see right here, we have the taxi and the taxi is actually one object right there. It has been extended with, the, with AI in Photoshop as well. Then we have the bottom layer right here. All of them have been extended on the right and the left so I can do this motion, this pan motion. Also, I have the pole right there, which I did cut in Photoshop precisely to look really, really realistic. And then we have the top one. So we have this parallax effect, which is pretty, pretty cool if you ask me. And the animation is really, really easy. I literally copied it by putting this one in transparency and that was it. And then we have the taxi, like I said, also, I added the smoke coming out of the car. If I turn on this one, as you can see in the original video, we don't have a smoke, but from the top view, we can see in the original right here, this one is the original, you can see this trail of smoke. And in the other shot in the original, as you can see right here, there is no smoke coming out of the car. So I thought, well, I'm gonna put it in myself. So I did. And here we have, this one is the one that I did. And we have the smoke right here done with particular, which is a third party plugin in After Effects. And in the other shot, I thought, well, they forgot to add it in. So I did it myself and I just changed the key of this new object, which follows the car. And that was pretty much it. As for the render and the light in Blender, well, let's go back to Blender. Let's go on this one, which is my favorite shot. I also downloaded this taxi on Sketchfab for free. So yeah, link is in the description. This other car is exact same copy of this one right here, but I just changed the colors and the textures and that was it. I really like this shot because it's so bright, so nice, so metallic and so realistic. For the street, for example, I used a simple texture that I found here and there. I don't remember where. For the shadow of the pole, it's literally just a cylinder right there so I can cast a shadow. And as for the light, I used the HDRI from Polyhaven, which is called Wide Street 01, and it looks amazing. And I think I did really and it does really a good job matching the original light let me see if i can move this spider-man away a little so we can compare it we need to turn off the street so we can see the video right there and there you go and let me remove the car as well and we can see the spider-man right there so as you can see the light it's pretty really close to the original we have this really bright rim right there the light comes all from right here so is hitting this side of Spider-Man and this side is all in the shadow. In fact, in the other shot, you can see we have a really big shadow right there from the taxi and I nailed that one too. This is the original right there and this is my version. So we have this really big shadow. I couldn't make it softer for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah, I think I kind of nailed it. Like I was saying, it was really fun to match the lighting perfectly to the original one. I think it really works. And now we can see the result. Just the beginning, I didn't do it. Just the very first few frames when you see Dr. Octavius throwing the card, that one is still the original. But the other two shots are the one that I actually remade in Blender. So now we can see the original. And now my version at 24 frames per second. And this one as a bonus, uh, it's just a, a longer version at 60 frames per second to see the motion better. I think it really, really shows all the, the effort that I put in this one. And because I've done so many shots from this movie, I thought to put them all together as a collage or a montage and see if can get like a little short movie or something. So there it is. But I thought you, you were Peter too. What? I'm not Peter. Stop arguing both of you. Listen to Peter one. What the f What's up, Peter? How you like the new new? Look, you give it to me, I'm gonna destroy it. <laughs> but I'll let you live. I got Spidey on target, ready to kill the bug. And here we go, dead Spidey. 
spider back to your multiverse. Oh my god! Thank you so much for watching and if you're not subscribed yet, please do to consider so it really helps the channel, especially if you click the, the like button thingy and comment down below. And as usual, I'll catch you on the next one.